not. Yeah, they might not. Check but that's uh, you went to junior college and I could gone. lie through my teeth, but I don't lie. I'm not going to tell them stuff that didn't happen. You but might that's have to in your life because are you going to go look, on your whole life, look, uh, Eric, with these little eight dollar, uh, you know? You what's wrong die? with that? If I can make it, and I'm trying, you know, I filled out applications. But everything is getting so expensive. Yeah, uh, he, I know. He raised the rent. I know. Five dollars a month. I I appreciate the suggestions that you make. It's just that after you've suggested them two or three or four times, and I've already said no, I don't think you know I'd be good at a masseuse, or I don't think you know, like I I, I can't you, figure so out what would be some of the things that you think that it would be a homosexual thing. No, I'm just not. Back. I'm not good at rubbing people's backs. I mean, it's even even when it. I've like massaged ex girlfriend's shoulders, I'm not good at it. You it's sweet, you know, you do. The I understand the physical mechanics you know, of it. But you don't have the strength. I it's, I'm not good at it. Okay, they're like, "Ow, that hurts," or "No, you're doing it wrong." But look, you know, I appreciate the suggestions. It's just you that make good money. I'll tell you that. That that's that's not the point. You don't have to. I know. I understand. And I understand. Twenty-five and a half hour. You don't have to convince me because I'm I'm not a masseuse and I'm not a manager. You know, I can be a salesperson. I can sell stuff on the phone. I can sell stuff on a sales floor. You know, I you can. Could, you could do that, but you couldn't. Uh, no. You know, I I can't deal with people. I can't manage people. Like I'm not management type material. Especially like well, if, if you're real uncomfortable and and just are that would just well, look, be it's, it's the one thing I could what I've been trying to say is like give a speech in front of uh, a a group mm -hmm. at, I, I <coughs> when I had to join oh, I didn't have to but I became a Buddha because of a bunch Buddhist, of people. Oh yeah. you gotta go to you know one okay. of our it would be at somebody's home, and maybe ten people would show up, and they'd chant. You know, what is that chant at the beginning of the? Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Yeah, Nam. What is Nam? Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Nam Myoho Renge. No, I, I, I don't even remember that. And I went to about ten meetings, mm -hmm. and then one night I went to a meeting with one of my kiddies. I had taken her to that. I don't know. I didn't know what was wrong with her. <coughs> this day, okay. I should have taken her temperature. She had. He had pneumonia. Mm -hmm. And I. All I thought about was him with me. I came home, and he was. I knew he was going to die. It was so horrible watching him get ga uh, gasping that I ran up to my bedroom and I just cried myself to sleep. I. It's, and I, the, the next day when I found him, you know, I cried again because I thought, oh, he died alone. I should have been holding him. But I don't think that would have reassured a cat, you know, just that you're there. And my white cat, uh, I didn't know he had a real, a tooth that was actually black. And so I went and got medication. Well, because I'm sure uh, I noticed he would shy away when he was eating he tried to shy away when I would pay well then I finally got his mouth open and it was a back to that was literally black mm. and so I thought oh my god that's why he's been not looking straight at the food and uh, I was going to I gave him a medicine but he died he waited for me to get up in the morning. Uh, I was giving him the medicine, and he died in my arms. Mm -hmm. And he was a sweet, sweet cat. I, I felt so. And I called up this Buddha, this woman that was on. I said, I don't want. If I hadn't been to your damn meeting last night, where you're all chanting that. Uh, you, I, you don't even know what it means, half of I said, I said, don't call me anymore. I don't want to be a Buddha. I I don't have any feeling. Uh, all this stuff is, if you chant, they they just tell you, if you chant, you'll get what you want. 
Mm-hmm. Is that what their religion is? The religion all about what you want? No, it's uh, if you chant, you'll realize that you don't want anything or you don't need possessions. No, it isn't that. If you want something yeah. and you chant enough, you'll get it. That sounds like the secret that one book by that woman. Because I read an article, a woman, a big New York executive, she well. wanted a house on Fire Island, and she said she chanted. I thought for Buddhists years and she got her house. I so thought, she got it through hard work. I thought Buddhists didn't like possessions, like oh, they shunned. No. Okay. Not well, I don't know much about the Buddhism. Buddhists that I, they, uh, a girl in New York even got me to try to. She her big selling point was if you'll chant, you'll get whatever you want. Yeah. That was her mantra. You, she kept after me coming to my apartment. Yeah, you and can't always get what you chance, want. You'll get whatever you want, <laughs> you know, and I okay. thought they're crazy, you know. Yeah. And that I, moon, I was, you know, remember moon? Oh, that was some other religion. The su- no, that was, they were Buddhists. Some young moon or something? Yeah. Reverend Mooney? Wasn't he a Buddhist? No, that was some extreme form of Christianity. What? That was like... Not Mormons, maybe Baptist or something. I'd have to look it up. Look I don't at know. This guy. Yeah, I know. Talking about, uh, you know, I listen to them talking. You know, I. They don't make any sense. I don't, and and they're always quoting. I from still these. these uh, you know, I. Thing, do you know something? I can take a shower in the morning. That uh, that Arab that was here, this kid that was starting his graduate work at DePaul. Uh, that left because he said he was allergic to cats, which was which he wasn't. And, and three days before the rent was due, he said, "Oh, you know, I've got blood in my nose." Hmm. Uh, I w- w- went to talk to him in his room, and I kind of looked over. He had no blood in his pillow hmm. or anything. I never heard him sneeze, rub his eyes. That dander, if you're allergic to it, that dander is microscopic and it's floating around this room right now. Mm-hmm. I heard you sneezing a lot last night. I thought maybe you caught cold. No, I just had some dust in my nose. Oh. Was it, where was the dust from? I don't know. Uh, you ever do that? Like you just get into a sneezing fit and you can't stop sneezing? You know, my sneezes have changed. <laughs> I don't sneeze like I used to. I used to really just burst like a yeah. a dam and now I kind of just and that's <laughs> it well hopefully my sneezes get a little less uh, well, severe I take in the future some, I take a very good uh, thing that I put two or two squirts in each of my nose at, at night and it keeps me clear and the doctor the uh, nose and doctor in the hospital said now you have to do with this every night <laughs> you know, he pointed at me and said, don't miss one night. And <laughs> it works. You know, once in a while, I'll wake up. Uh, with, and if I forget to do it, I'll wake up kind of stopped up. But once I get up, and uh, what really helps is I take a shower, hot and cold, mm-hmm. hot and cold. Do you ever take a cold shower? Yeah. Boy, is, I, I have to take a real warm shower, warm my body up to the point where it's, you know, where I really almost want to feel cool, and then I turn on the ice cold water, and boy, it's very good for your nerves, it's refreshing. and your mood, and refreshing if you're tired, yeah. and you just it's feel like, like, oh God, I have to... Jumping into a nice cold pool on a hot summer day. Yeah, well, you know, at... Uh, when you go to a sauna, have you ever been to a, a, a sauna? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, afterwards, you have to take a cool, mm-hmm. you know, you have to wash off, or they uh, wash off with the shower, and then you can dive into the pool. They don't want you diving into the pool mm-hmm. with all your sweat. Yeah. But uh, they used to have one circus cast left in New York. They used to be all over it. I never realized.